this video, I'm carrying, uh, carrying forward from what I talked about before on insurance with the St. Petersburg pa paradox. So just, just to recap, uh, the idea was that basically whenever you get a tails, you lose. But depending on the number of heads, you win an amount, amount of money. So for example, if I get T the first time, I get zero dollars. If I get a head and then a tails, I get two dollars. If I get a head, a head and then a tails, so when I lose, I, I get paid out. Um, I get paid four dollars. If I get three heads in a row, I get eight, and so on. Right. So basically, uh, it's just the number of heads uh, to and two to the power of, of the number of heads. Okay. So that's basically your prize money. So this is the money that you end up getting. Now, according to Saint Petersburg paradox, just just as a recap, the probability of this was a half. The probability of getting this was a quarter. Right. So half times a half. The probability of this one of two heads was um, so it's going to be half squared and then the probability of getting tails was happened to be half as well so it's one eighth and so on so it turned out we saw that the prize money that we got was two to the x times sorry two to the x minus one times uh, one on two to the x which happened to be the summation of a half which ended up being equal to infinity now i, I know i ran through that but again just watch my previous video to uh, if you don't understand what I just did there. So now the question is, how do we explain this paradox? So basi uh, basically what people did was, okay, hang on, I'm not going to pay pay an infinite amount of money to play this game. Most probably going to be around the uh, range of two to three dollars, right? Um, so the the idea is that instead of instead of trying to do this as a proper statistical expectation people invented this idea of utility curves okay so utility curves I'll tell you what it is in a bit so the basic idea is that when you get more and more money so this money versus happiness you aren't necessarily as happy the more money that you get well actually no you are more happier but the rate decreases so it keeps on increasing but when I get to a point I'm like yeah meh couldn't care less so I just start it'll be great to have a bit more money but you know not as much like there shouldn't be any dips that's just my wonky hand okay so basically that's the idea so there's really two criteria that that needs to happen mathematically that is the utility curves have to be increasing right so the the more money that I get um, so actually I'll use the say the M uh, it the more money that I get, the more happier I have to be. So basically, the gradient has to be positive. So it has to be an increasing function. The second, the second criteria is that it's got to be concave. So it's got to be, it's got to be caving that way. Okay. So the second derivative has to be negative. Okay. So um, a, a good example of where this will happen is root x. Okay, so suppose I have u, uh, u of m is equal to root of m. Okay, or rather m to the half if, if that's a, if the if there's any better. So if if I have this function u dash m is going to be equal to a half m to the negative half. So in this case, I'll just write root m at the bottom. U double dash m. Is going to be equal to a negative a quarter m to the three on well negative three on two, but I'll just write right there. So this thing over here is negative. This thing over here is positive, right? So it, it satisfies that constraint. So let's let's go back to let's go back to this uh, this little problem over here. But instead of doing this as a prize money, let's let's say the expectation of my utility expectation of my happiness what is that going to be so in this case what I'm really looking for is the expectation of my utility curve utility of my money so in this case just to write it down remember that the money so actually I'll just do this in two steps the the chance of me getting um, so that's X but this is going to be utility of M now the utility curve is M to the half but so except we don't write root m instead m the amount of money that we happen to get was equal to 
it was if you remember it's 2 to the x minus 1 okay so x is, is the number of um, heads that we tossed so it's going to be times square root of 2 to the x minus 1 okay so breaking this up I'm going to say this is the same as going 1 on 2 to the x times uh, 2 to the x on 2 times 2 to the minus a half right because the power can be multiplied by uh, through by these things but this thing over here is a constant so I'm going to take that outside and then I'm just going to concentrate on what's the, these two terms in, in the middle so 2 to the or rather 1 on square root 2 at the bottom and then the sum, summation over here is going to be uh, 1 on so again that's that's root 2 to the x and that's 2 to the x so I will I can write this as saying oops 2 to the x on 2 okay all right so now the, the the question is what is what is this infinite sum so x goes from 0 to infinity uh, so again this was just a constant let, let me just write out a few terms so that you can clearly see what it's going to be so this will be 2 to the actually this should be equal to 1 onwards so let's forget about the 0 case uh, so it'll be 2 to the half plus 1 on 2 to the to the 2 on 2 plus 2 to the 3 on 2 and so on okay so this is a geometric series and a geometric series with my r in this case so for this thing my ratio between two of them is 1 on 2 to the half okay and this number over here is less than 1 okay because 2 to the half is greater than 1 so this overall ratio is less than 1 so if you if you remember an uh, infinite sum of a geometric series the I'll just write it on the side the the equation goes a on 1 minus r and where a is the first uh, is the first uh, first number the first element so in this case my first element is 1 on square root 2 Okay, luckily it cancels out with actually no it doesn't um, um, okay forget about what I just said but over here I will end up with 1 minus 1 on square root 2 okay so um, what I can do now is I can um, I'll, I'll leave 1 on root 2 over here and borrowing this 1 on root 2 I can rewrite this as going root 2 times 1 minus 1 on root 2 so again just to simplify things down I will end up with root 2 minus 1 okay so that that's your that's your final sum and this obviously is much less than infinity right so we got a uh, expected value that I'm going to pay all right so this the, uh, I'm not sure what the, this number is going to be but it's not a huge number right and that is really the expected that is a, somewhere along the lines of what you might expect to pay a second utility curve so this this utility curve that we uh, that we tried was u is equal to root m a second utility curve can be log of m because again it satisfies those two properties where the 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 derivative the first derivative is positive and the second derivative is negative okay so I'm going to let you check that for yourself but again looking at the expectation so the expectation this time of my of the utility is going to be the summation of uh, x so x equals 1 to infinity of 1 on 2 to the x so the probability stays the same but this time this will end up being log of 2 to the x minus 1 okay now you need to remember some of your log rules for for this little bit so this will be x equals 1 to infinity and then I'm going to take the x minus 1 up front uh, well in front of the log at least divided by 2 to the x times log of 2 which in turn I can take out out of the summation sign okay so um, so what I will end up with is log of 2 multiplied by a summation of x equals 1 to infinity of x on 2 to the x minus and then I'm writing this summation separately because hopefully you'll see it x equals 1 to infinity of 
1 on 2 to the x. So this thing over here, I can straight away say this is a geometric series. So I can say this is equal to, um, so the summation is going to half or 1 minus a half. So this will be equal to 1. So this part is simply going to be equal to 1. Now this is really the tricky part. Okay, So I'll, I'll show you how to sum that up. Um, let me just write a few terms of that down. So again, the first term will be a half. Uh, the second term will be 2 on 4. The third term will be 3 on 8. Because remember this is 2 to the 3. Fourth term will be uh, 4 on four on 16 and so on. Okay, so the bottom is getting multiplied by 2. The, the top is getting added up by 1. So one way of writing this is to go half plus a quarter plus one eighth plus one sixteenth and so on and then plus it'll be one on four so that the, when I add it up downwards okay so when I look up this way it's going to be one plus one on four plus one on four plus one on eight plus one on sixteen now this one over here is going to be plus one on eight plus one on sixteen so basically I hope you get the idea it's, it's starting to look like a triangle so this this thing over here will be plus 1 on 16 and so on so this thing over here we just add, added that part up right so this thing over here is going to be 1 okay so simply simply by comparing to this thing you can see you should be able to see that it's 1 this thing over here again it's uh, if you want to write down the geometric series it's just going to be uh, a quarter on 1 minus a half which will end up being equal to a half but if you if you see this is just this thing over here but without this half over here so i can the easiest way to go, do is go one minus uh this half over here okay so in the same with the same idea this thing this value over here i'm getting rid of the quarter so it'll be a quarter and this thing over here will be one eighth and so on so this pattern will continue so what i will end up with is uh, one plus a half plus a quarter and again it's another geometric series an uh, infinite geometric series so this time it will be one on one minus a half which will be equal to two okay so there you, there you go you, you got the summation of the second term and again what I really need to stress out is that so this goes to two all right um, so the final answer will be log two times two minus one which is hey guess what log two Right, and again, more importantly, this is less than infinity. So basically the idea is that to explain logically, well actually not logically, but more sensibly what you'd expect to uh, pay some sort of uh, risky game is is utility. Okay, so um, in my next video I'll explain how this relates to insurance. Okay, so basically it's it's the idea of that the, the, higher the, the higher the risk, the more that uh, Actually, it's, it's best if I explain that in the second video. But uh, thanks for watching for now. And uh, if, you, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.